Thanks for joining us today on the Truth Produces Freedom podcast. Today I'm going to just get into introduction and uh, talk a little bit about my heart and what I want to get into um, and a little bit about myself and uh, see where it leads us for this first episode. So, um, like the trailer says, this is a podcast about truth being what makes us free and how truth produces freedom. So that's the focus and heart of it. There are so many doctrines and beliefs that people think are gospel truth that that simply aren't. And the reason why is because they don't produce freedom. And anything that any revelation from scripture you think you have that doesn't produce freedom, if it leaves you bound is not truth it is not truth at all and so that's the heart uh behind it and it'll lead to many places and opportunities um i want to hear feedback from any listeners that that i'll that i'll have um questions comments things like that um and want to uh definitely want to uh talk about subjects that people want me to talk about if they have ideas or questions or anything and so a little bit about me my name is Jonah Um, I've been a a believer and follower of Jesus um, since 2012 the very beginning I was saved on New Year's Day New Year's Eve technically of of 2012 um, that first day of the year and um, I grew up in uh, Christian religion, that kind of background, but it wasn't real for me. I didn't repent or follow him. Uh, I didn't follow Jesus until, um, until I repented and started following him. And that was, uh, that was the first day of the year of 2012, uh, that I began. My whole life was transformed. I had a radical salvation experience. Um, and it was a real Saul to Paul. And, uh, I just began to be on fire for the Lord and grow in Him, and within a few months, uh, I had such a passionate desire in my heart to to uh, want to be in the Bible every day, and I made a 21-day commitment to read the Bible every day, and I... I just I didn't want to go a single day of my life without being in the Word of God because it became so crucial and important to me. It wasn't a a uh, religious mindset or just uh, you know trying to uh, trying to uh, just form like good habit that I just thought would be good. No, it was this burning passion in my heart that like I just saw how valuable the word of God was and that it, it was more important to me than food or anything. Relationship with God and his word. Like it was my life now. And so that burning desire was formed in me to to uh get deeper in the word than I than I ever thought I would and I made that commitment to read every day for 21 days and it led me to decide that I'm 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 not gonna go a single day the rest of my life without being in the Bible every single day and I haven't missed a single day since and that's been since May of 2012 Um, and it's it's my life source and so every day, even on my worst days, it's I'm I've I've got to be in the Word at least like a little bit, at least like a chapter or you know something worth um, a while. And um, so over ten years now, as of now, of of digging deep in the Word of God and studying and learning and thoroughly examining the Scriptures, and um, that year as well, I I threw out everything I ever had been taught, everything I ever learned regarding the gospel and the Bible, and I started from scratch, literally from the bottom up, decided that I wanted to read everything for the first time and build what I believe on what the Word says and through relationship with Holy Spirit. And so I began to learn a lot and see how much truth that 
that the church was missing, that there's so many lies that we've embraced. And so it began to change my life and set me free and redeem me and, uh, and deliver me from addictions and sins and set me on, began, uh, it put me on that journey of, of walking in that freedom and the truth that makes me free and led me into my destiny and my calling. Uh, I'm a, I'm a traveling minister and evangelist that I travel the world and minister the gospel. And, um, I'm a student of the word. I love the word of God. Like I said, I've read the Bible in several different translations. I've read the new Testament well over 20 times, each book in it minimum, at least 20 times. I read in multiple translations, uh, frequently because I like to stay fresh. I like to see new, new and different perspectives. I've read through the whole old Testament, each book of it, at least four times, some of them a lot more. Um, and uh, I continue to read through uh, the Bible consistently, and I've learned a lot. Um, I'm an author. I'm writing uh, several books. I have finished my first book. I'm in editing right now. Um, it has a lot to do with this subject of truth making us free. It's called Go and Sin No More. Um, and uh, so that's a little bit about me. Um, and I, yeah, like I said, I travel around the world and uh, minister the gospel and uh so I began to walk in my destiny within a few years of that pursuit of that salvation, that pursuit of the word, um, and um, learning my identity um, from God alone, and began to radically change my life and flip everything upside down. Uh, my personality changed, my identity was totally changed, and I I was defined by God. And so, uh, Holy Spirit began to empower me, and I I was. Uh, um, beginning to walk in spiritual gifts and prophecy and seeing miracles and healings and um, traveling the world, ministering the gospel powerfully, uh, have been able to minister to several celebrities and to tons of homeless people across the country and everyday average Joes, everywhere, everything in between from the famous to the homeless and uh, been on that journey for the last seven years. I also served on church staff for a couple of years, um, and I did one year of ministry school as well. So that's, that's a little bit about me and why I'm passionate about this, and so you know a little bit about um, who, you're, uh, who you're listening to. So yeah, that's, that's a, my, the nutshell of, of uh, my story. And so truth, uh, I just have a passionate heart for truth. And... Um, I want to see people free, and that's why I want to proclaim truth. There's so many people that are proclaiming doctrines and beliefs that they think are truth, but they're not setting people free because they're not truth. And I don't know why people are so passionate about correcting people and trying to enslave people and calling it truth and being passionate, you know, about preaching the truth but no one's being freed you're actually enslaving people that's not jesus that's not freedom so that's what it's all going to be about is i want to see people set free by the truth and the freedom it produces i want to see in people's lives so this is the introduction podcast and uh we'll see uh how things unfold from here on Hey everyone, thank you for listening to the first episode of Truth Produces Freedom podcast. I want to, th- yeah, just thank you for, for listening. And um, it's just kind of an introduction episode uh, before we start to dig into the word and into different subjects. Um, but if you have any more questions about uh, who I am and what I do and some uh, anything, you know, beyond what I uh, briefly already shared, uh, feel free to... Uh, contact me uh at uh the uh, truth produces freedom uh podcast at at gmail.com or you can follow us on youtube at the same name um as well as on facebook you can even get my personal uh page uh jonah smith preachings and teachings um and yeah any questions any uh subjects or things that you want to uh you want uh, me to uh, talk about or yeah anything at all any uh, 
anything you need at all, just uh, hit me up. So yeah, thanks for listening to Truth Produces Freedom podcast. God bless you guys.